Here's everything we did in Seoul with a toddler, the final part. So we started our day by strolling around the neighborhood. The cherry blossoms were in full bloom and we just wanted to soak up the beautiful scenery as we don't get to see this back home. After that, we grabbed lunch at a 24-hour noodle shop nearby. Jamie tried the kimchi but it was too spicy for her little taste buds. The warm of the noodle soup was just what we needed for that chilly day. It was one of those unexpected gems you only find when exploring local spots. Then we headed to Siok Chong Lake for a relaxing walk and sat on a swing for a bit. We also did some shopping at Lotte World Mall. So for dinner, we revisited the noodle shop again because it was so good. Ordered cold noodles and jajameyong this time. Okay, so it was the next day and we decided to explore the historic Bukchong Hanok village. Wandering through the traditional houses and narrow alleys, it felt like stepping into a Korean drama. Dad was craving for fast food after days of Korean food, so we found this burger shop on Google. After that, we went to Daiso to get some souvenirs and Jamie got herself a cute dog set. We headed back to pack our luggages. Once to check out early and head to the train station to catch the last train to the airport because we wanted to avoid the super expensive midnight taxi ride. We arrived at the airport with plenty of time to spare so we decided to freshen up and get some rest before our flight. Thankfully, Jamie managed to take a short sleep making the wait a little easier. It's been an amazing trip filled with laughter, memories and delicious food. Travelling with a toddler definitely has its challenges but the joy she brings makes it all worth it.